My inventory alone was probably like 65 million. We always try to please the customer. I get a lot of customers that tell me, I followed my nose. <laughs> they open their window like this. Oh, I gotta go there. <laughs> yeah. Two o'clock, I get plenty of orders. What time do you usually wake up in the morning then? I don't go to sleep. I take naps. Morning. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm saying I was asked to franchise. There's that saying, aim for the moon. Even if you miss, you land in the stars. stars. Yeah. So what's up everybody, we're out here in National City today at Cujo Eats. And this restaurant used to be a bunch of different things back in the day. I'm here with Joel Soriano. Soriano? Soriano. Yes. Uh, Soriano. Soriano, okay. Yep. Soriano, uh, owner, you know, of Cujo Eats, uh, actually used to come here back in the day. So he's a local over here and he took over this place last year. Yes. And so we're just here to have a conversation, talk about his, uh, this restaurant, what's been going on and all this stuff. I actually was here last year, met him and we had a good time, actually hung out for a couple hours. Yeah. It was a while. I, I was oh, yeah. honestly surprised. I was like, oh, okay, cool. But that's what I love. It's like good conversations. Yes. And then I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm starting up my podcast again. Let me get you Let me get you on this. Just kind of bring more exposure, bring more social awareness, social media awareness to your brand. So appreciate thank you, Joel. That. Appreciate it, man. No, thank you. Thank appreciate you, man. You. Yeah, thank you. So give us a little bit of background. Like, how did you get started all of this stuff here at this restaurant? Okay, let me, uh, I guess, Take let me back. start. I was born in Hawaii, okay. Honolulu, Hawaii. Oh, nice. Um, moved here when we were eight. Mm -hmm. Me, I was eight. Um, moved to Spring Valley, went to school there, and just just the passion and food and yeah. um, being from Hawaii, yeah. um, just the, just the demeanor. You know, in in the islands, it's like a lot of, it's really, I don't know how to say. It. It's like time moves slow in the right, island. Right, right, right. You know, yeah, you, know, yeah. you, know what, you know what I'm saying? Because I went there last January for the right. first time. Oh yeah, I went to Maui. Okay, so I kind of get what you're saying. Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I moved here from from Hawaii um, with my parents, and then uh, we just uh, you know I went to school at Mount Miguel, Mount okay. Miguel High School. Okay. Went That's there. In Spring Valley. Spring Valley. Okay. Yeah, went there, did the whole ROTC thing. And wow. I did band. Yeah, uh -huh. a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> what, um, what instrument did you play? Uh, the trumpet. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. So my parents and I and my my brothers were all always into music. Okay. Um, that's why I brought music to this place. Ooh, okay. You know, music I mean, the karaoke place. machine, right? Karaoke, yeah, yeah <laughs> karaoke, and just, yeah. just the, the all the, the all around home feeling over here. Yeah. Um, that's what, you know. It's funny because I bring up, every time I come to National City, because when I grew up, my, my family's always lived in National City, like my right. aunts. Um, and so every, every twice a year, we would always come to San Diego and we would always come here. So even when I was driving down here today, I was like, damn, like National City really feels like home. Yeah. You know, it feels like you come back, you have all of these memories and all that stuff. And I didn't grow up here, mm -hmm. but, you know, I've been here for the past 10 years. I would come here once or twice a year. Um, so I can see what you're saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. it feels like home, you know. Yeah. And so you wanted to bring that feel to this restaurant, too. Right. Yeah. And the, the food that I, we serve here. So my parents are from the from Ilocos. Mm, OK. And uh, so we're Ilocano. Yeah. Um, and we brought a lot of the flavors here. Nice. A lot of flavors are actually from my my parents. OK. okay. You know, um, so. To yeah. this restaurant? Yeah. So when you took over, right, this was this was already something before, right? So yes. can you give us a little history? What was it when you came back before you owned it, like yeah. even before that? So what, because, yeah, tell us. Okay. Some so yeah. before me was Erlinda's, mm -hmm. and she ran here about nine, ten years. Okay. And before that was Conching's. Okay. Um, Conching's area is when I used to come here as a kid. Yeah, yeah. I used to get the Halo Halo. Mm hmm. And, um, yeah, we used to come here all the time. Okay. Um, and then e through my teenage years and the clubbing yeah. years. <laughs> so this was the only place that was open, uh, only Filipino spot that was open up till like, I think it was like two o'clock in the morning. Wow. So I used to get the long si logs, the tosi logs, yeah. anytime I wanted. Wow, until two in the morning. Yeah, till two in the morning. Wow. But, well, like, where would you go clubbing? Is there, there's oh. no one in a national city, right? Um, downtown San okay, Diego, okay. we went there and then, because it's not too far from the from, from here. 32nd yeah. and that stuff, but yeah. Okay, so yeah. you go out clubbing and then you're like, hey, I want Filipino food after the club, right? Right. And it's crazy because I think for me, you know, going out in the last, I don't do it that often, if, if anything at all now, but before, but now it's more like Mexican food, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. that stuff. So, so to say that you want Filipino food after the club is is different. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So that was when it was Conchings. Yes. Okay, so Conchings, then Orlinda's. How long was the Conchings for, do you know? Uh, dude, I think it was like 
at least 20, 30 years. Wow. And back in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, 80s. I heard a lot of customers were saying 86 oh. was when Conchings when first, opened? first opened here. Okay. And then the Conchings era kind of ended in um, 2010, I mm. believe. Yeah. Dang. So. And then Orlinda's. And then Orlinda's. From like 2010 to last year? Yeah. So 2023? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did, did the owners, were they the same owners or family owners? Like, was Orlinda, like, related to Conchings? Like, no. Those? Okay. Yeah, a lot of, I get that question a lot. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people yeah. ask me, oh, are you, are you the son of, you know, you know right, right, the right. old owners? He goes, no, I mean, they're acquaintances. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, no relation. Uh, from Conchings to Orlinda's, there was no relation. Yeah. Um, and then me and Orlinda's. There was no relation, but okay, you know, just our passion was a yeah relationship, <laughs> right? The food, food yeah. is the passion. Oh right? yeah, the Filipino food. Yeah, it's crazy to think that there's so many different people that could have checked out this spot, right? Yeah, and a lot of restaurants, and it's changed, right? But I, I think you've kept the same recipes for the most part, right? Yeah. Did you switch it up? Yeah, okay. I switched it up a little bit, uh, yeah. a little bit more deeper flavors. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I mean, the adobos are still there. The, right. The sisig still there. Um, Tortang Talong still there, mm. everything's still there, but we we kind of added a little bit more, I guess, twist. Okay. A little more flavor L to make it. Make yeah. it a little bit different? Yeah, a little okay. bit different. Because, uh, you know, people know Gonchings and Arlindas for the classic Filipino dishes, right? right? So you're saying you didn't change it up, so you really kept it to what it's known for, right? Right. You just enhanced the flavors a little bit right. more. Mm -hmm. um, going into that a little bit, how did you make the recipes better? Like, what do you what did you do to make it better? What uh, have you done? So, I add more fresh garlic. Okay. It, garlic is like one one of my main things because I mean, growing up, um, knowing my you know, with diabetes and yeah. my, my mother, she had diabetes and stuff, oh. and garlic kind of you know helps with her health. Right, right, right. So that's kind of what I did here was okay. I knew how to cook for my mother and my father. Yeah. And um, that's what I that's what I started doing here. So to enhance the flavors, I really used more. Fresh ingredients. Okay. Okay. Yeah. With with um with that though, I mean like, if everyone, because did you ever get complaints from people saying that you changed the recipes too much? Um, I mean Filipinos awesome. are kind of hard to please sometimes. Yeah. You know when they like something, <laughs> sisig, adobo, uh, sinigang. Like that's why a lot of like fusion places don't do well. Right. But you didn't you didn't do any of that. You just kind of made more flavor, made it yeah. more flavorful. I right? mean if there's if there was garlic, put a little more a little garlic, more, gra more garlic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or more a little bit more salt. If if I, I kind of balanced it and yeah. you know that's that's what it because you know when Filipinos cook when mm -hmm. we cook, especially at home, we don't use measuring cups. Mm. We just. It's all feel. It's like yeah, wow, it's that looks feel. good. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It tastes good. Yeah. But over yeah, we do we do taste everything before we serve it. Right. We taste everything before before we serve it, and then okay. we just add, um, and then we start taking measurements. Okay. So that's uh, so, so you, you just started taking measurements. Yeah. Wow. So you yeah. broke the code there. You know? uh, yeah, I did. I kind of did. Okay. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, no, man. They're gonna be upset. People are gonna be like, oh, what's going on here? It tastes too good. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but Kuj, okay, so take me back. What's your background, like with cooking, with all that stuff? Because you grew up, I want to take you back to your history a little bit, because you grew up in Hawaii, in yes. Honolulu, moved here when you were eight, um, and then we kind of went off track there a little yeah, bit. So yeah, let's yeah, take it back to that. that. No, 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 let's take it back to yeah, that. Yeah, cooking, um, cooking-wise, is um, it all has, I, I was always, just like almost all Filipino kids, they're like sous chefs to their parents. Right. They're like, hey, go cut some onions, go mm -hmm. do this. I just created, a, uh, my passion just started from there. Really? From when my mom told me, hey, go cut some onions, go yeah. smash some garlic, go. My dad was the one who taught me how to um, slice meat. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I started doing that at probably like nine. Really? Yeah. Okay. Helping around the kitchen and stuff yeah. like that and, you know, tasting all the flavors from my parents. So a lot of their, a lot of food here is like their influence. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It's funny because I think we grew up the same way. My, my mom, my dad does, doesn't cook, but my mom definitely growing up, it was me and my siblings. They'd be like, my mom's like, hey, chop some onions. Hey, uh, go break, uh, chop up the garlic, right? right. Like, uh, take off the, the peel, you know, yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, peel some potatoes, you know, all of that stuff. So kind of in the same way. In the context. And I like cooking for me is cool. Like mm -hmm. I, I enjoy it when I have to do it. But obviously there's so many good, so much good food here in San Diego for me it's like yeah, I'm gonna go out yeah, and try different right, things right because right. I can't make uh, your your you know your synagogue the way that you do right um, but that's that's really cool to hear so okay so that's where you started with making food yeah. right and then where, where else did it take you 
Most of my background is really, I, I, I was in aerospace. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have any like chef experience, wow. any cooking experience in a restaurant except for Carl's Jr. Yeah, yeah. That was like back in, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, here in San Diego? Yeah, here in San Diego. Okay, which one was it at? Uh, Rancho San Diego. Okay, okay, yeah. so you moved up over, it's east, right? Yes. Yeah, east, okay, cool, yeah. cool. So that was the only, honestly, the, the only cooking experience outside of home that I ever had. Wow. Um, and, well, I took that pa the, my passion for cooking mm -hmm. a little bit further at home. Okay. Um, by doing my barbecues, yeah. my spaghettis, oh. uh, my spam musubis. Okay. Um, and I was always cooking for parties and stuff like that. And so you're doing caterings, basically. Pretty much. Pretty, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Without getting paid. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. For free. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But um, a lot of my friends were just like, hey, you should, you should sell your barbecue. Mm. That was like, oh, What year was man. this? How long ago was that? That was probably like early 2000s. Okay, okay. And early you were 2000s. here in San Diego, Yeah, right? I was here in San okay. Diego. So a lot of my friends were telling me, hey, you should sell your food. Because I never would have thought. Really? I never would have thought that I'd own. You'd be doing it. Yeah, I'd own a, a wow. restaurant and and doing it. It's just a, it's just amazing. And uh, my friends were right. Yeah, my friends were right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Take us through like what was going in your, through your mind. I mean, being told to you really love cooking, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. And when someone says, "Hey, you should sell this," like what goes through your mind when you're when you're experiencing that? When somebody says something like that, even till now, when just just their reaction when they taste the food. Yeah. When 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 somebody tastes, and they, they smile, yeah, they you, you can see when when somebody's eating something like they're like they taste and they go, oh, <laughs> they do that thing. I, that, that's, yeah. that just excites me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It excites me. I'm like, oh wow, I did something right. So right. I mean, cooking in the kitchen is just like I'm, I'm like dancing. Oh, okay. I'm I'm da I know where everything's at. I yeah. know I know what to do, what heat to to get it to, and. Yeah. and what to put in there at what time. So I'm yeah. just pretty much dancing in there. And when I'm dancing and I see people just enjoying my food, that's like, yeah. wow. Brings you a lot it's, of happiness. Oh yeah, it does, it yeah. does. Yeah. Like nothing else matters to me when I'm in the kitchen. Yeah. It's just the taste of the food Yeah. and the reaction. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. And I think that's how you know that you kind of found your calling there, right? Yes. And we talked about a little bit before this and we were saying like how um, when you're meant to do something, you'll always be brought back to doing it. Right. So you were saying that you actually worked in aerospace for, was it for a while? Like, what uh, was that? Yeah, like 15, 15 years. Okay, okay. I was working in aerospace. Um, I started at the, you know, at the bottom mm -hmm. and I worked my way up pretty, pretty quick. Mm -hmm. um, so I was uh, supervisor for three different shifts throughout my career over there. And um, we did a lot of, you know, the inventory. And so that was really hard. Oh, inventory really? for a multi-million dollar company. Yeah. Um, my inventory alone was probably like 65 million. Ooh, buddy, yeah, I mean, can't mess can you that imagine? up, right? Yeah, uh, can't no, mess no, that no. up at all, yeah. No, so those skills that I learned there too, managing and uh, and planning, yeah, kind of fit into what I'm doing here mm -hmm. too, uh, as a restaurant owner. So the experience from that job related to doing this, because right. you're managing employees, right? Making right. schedules and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, oh, and inventory especially, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. order, we just you just had a food truck person come in deliver <laughs> right. some food, right? Right. So that's really important. Um, so I also want to talk about. You said you grill every day now. Yes. So so like you're switching things up a little bit. You're adding in your own little twist. Right. Right. Um, well, but before we get into that, you still have hollow hollow here. Yes. That's definitely. a big staple, right? Oh, definitely. The mm -hmm. hollow hollow's not not going anywhere. Yeah. Just yesterday with the hollow hollow, yeah. um, we had customers that came from Seattle. They always come here yeah. just for the Halo Halo. Okay. And yeah. They it, just come in. I'm like, wow. Look, just for Halo Halo? Just for Halo Did they get food too? You saw them your beef ribs? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they, they, were, they were too full with the Halo Halo. Oh. That's why, oh, speaking of that, we created a, a mini Halo Halo. Oh, okay. So if people eat here, customers eat here, and they get too full, yeah. they do order a Halo Halo, yeah. but what happens is they throw everything, throw half of it away. Oh, that's right. So we create a smaller one. Smart. So they're not too, um, they don't feel bad. Right, right, away. right. They're not wasting inventory. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that too. That too. <laughs> that too. Yeah. No, so. that makes sense because the box, it's pretty big, right? It's like about yes. this, this big? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, because that's actually very smart because I know when I've had it here before, just anywhere, you can't get different sizes for Halo Halo. It's always in the same cup, right. same size, right. you know, and then you, if you can't finish, you can't finish it. Right. So, that's really smart, dude. Yeah. Do you yeah. sell more of those? Um, than anything else? It's, or uh, it's it's like half and half. Yeah, half and half. Okay. Half and half. Okay. Um, the kids love it. That's it's good. small. You still get a you know, it's just 
half the size. Yeah. I even tell customers like, you know, um, oh, I'm diabetic, so uh, I, I can't finish the whole. Oh, auntie, uncle, we we have a smallest. Yeah. It's half the sugar. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bad. They like when I say that. Like, oh, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really cool, man. Um, for people who don't know what Halo Halo is, can you explain what's in it? So our Halo Halo has uh, well, the, the mongo with the beans, mm -hmm. um, the gulaman, the saging, which is the banana, mm -hmm. um, palm fruit, and um, you know your topping of um, ice cream, your favorite ice cream. What we have the magnolia ice cream here, and it's magnolia. topped with that evap mail, uh, milk and. Pinny pig and of course, yeah, of course the pinny pig and the leche flan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You gotta have that. You have to. That's like the classic thing. Oh yeah. I do to. wish that it had more. Per, this is just like personal. I, I do want more leche flan on mine mm -hmm. and more ice cream. You know, because oh, we talk okay. about ice cream, those two things. Yeah. I can do without the red bean, the beans in it. Because yeah. I think it's red beans. You yeah. can add, like usually. Mm -hmm. I can do without the beans in it. I love everything else. Um, but yeah, add more ice cream, add more leche flan. That's perfect for me. Oh, we have we have that option. Oh, you do? We have that option. Oh, okay, okay. And a lot of times when customer asks, you know, yeah. We, we, we always try to please the customer. Okay, always. that's awesome, I, man. That's I awesome. Know, I know there's a, a saying, you can't please everybody. Right. Well, right. that's the 99% of people. I'm part of that 1% right. that want to do that. Mm -hmm. So That's I awesome, dude. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I really that's do. really hard, though, because like, some, like you said, Everyone's different, yeah. right? Everyone's no matter what you do, you can be the same goes, you can be the ripest peach in the in the tree or in the bundle. Yeah. But so, there's always someone that hates peaches. Right. right? Like right. you can't you can't please everybody here. Right. So it's awesome that you try to do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really good. Um, so let's get into what you're doing now, what you're doing that's different. So like you said, you, like yeah, the whole uh, grilling story in the mm -hmm. front that you do now. What, what's that about? So this the uh, okay, so my passion for grilling. I first started off with a grill top in the kitchen okay and it was just here right Probably yeah in the kitchen okay. yeah so i i like the charcoal flavor okay and so that's what i brought to the table uh there was a couple of hoops i had to jump through to to get that done uh -huh. but i got it done okay and the county allowed it and stuff like that okay. so now we're grilling beef ribs yeah the meaty ribs just like uh, phil's barbecue oh yeah okay but a lot of people here are like oh it's it's, it's a lot better. Right, right, like, right, right. For real? Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we do pork belly. Okay. Uh, pork belly skewers. Oh. Chick, uh, boneless skinless chicken thighs. Okay. Skewered chicken thighs. Okay. Um, and we're just, we, we're going to keep adding to the menu. Oh, pork chops. Mm. Um, and soon we're going to get some lechon going on outside. Oh, the, the whole, whole pig? pig. The, the whole, whole pig. pig. Every day? Or maybe like, the, like a, well, we'll start off with one day, okay, okay. and then like, you know, as yeah, popular, build up from there. Yeah. Dude, yeah. that's awesome. That's but, so good. Yeah. With your beef ribs, though, like, how do you? Are you marinating it beforehand? How are you seasoning all of all of your meat? So, um, that's a secret. <laughs> that's a <laughs> proprietary secret. information. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, yeah. it's very tender. Okay. Um, the way I do my ribs. Okay. Is very tender. Yeah. Um, the only way to find out, you gotta come by and try it out. You gotta <laughs> see secrets. You gotta see. Yeah. You gotta try it out. It's, yeah. it's fall off the bone. Okay. It's fall off okay. bone ribs. So. How often? So you're you're doing it every day though, right? Because yeah. people have. Because I remember earlier you were saying that you started with was it one day. It was Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, and then it did so well. You're like, hey, let me do Sunday also, and right. then every single day. Customers were requesting. Yeah. Like, hey, you should do it Sundays. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do Sundays, and then after that, added Mondays. Then yeah. Tuesdays, and then people were just like, uh, customers just like, let's, can you do it all week? Yeah. Sure. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, it, 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 it really, uh, you know, going back to taking care of the customers, mm. I mean, they, they love it. I mean, just, just being outside too, just the smell. I, I get a lot of customers that tell me, um, I, I followed my nose. <laughs> like, really? Even some of the uncles that live right across oh, the street. Oh, really? They open their window, like, yes. oh, uh, I gotta go there. <laughs> like, wow. It smells so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. so, yeah. How Thank long have you been for doing that, that for then? Um, when did that start? I wanna say since last July. Okay, okay, yeah. last July. So almost, yeah, almost, what, 10 months? Almost a year yeah. coming up on yeah. it. Okay, okay. And that's cool, cause, uh, dude, 
And it, but it's not Filipino barbecue, right? It's like your own take on right. barbecue. Right. Okay, because I don't want people to see this and be like, oh, oh yeah, okay. he's making uh, Tita's uh, barbecue. You oh, know, no. same thing over there, but it's different. It's because different. of your own little twist. Right. Did you you said you moved back to Hawaii, right? After did you ever move back to Hawaii or no? No, we 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 I have there. plenty of family over there, so okay. we go back and forth. Gotcha. Know, visit family okay. and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about your name, Kujo Eats. What does that mean? How did you come up with that name? Okay, so back in back in high school, um, a lot of my friends used to call me Kuya Joel. Okay. I just yeah. smashed it together and got Kujo. Kujo. Yeah. Kujo eats. And it it it's a it has a pretty nice ring to it. A lot yeah. Of like, hey, we're gonna go to Kujo's. Actually, a lot of people think it's Japanese. Even yeah. my sign looks Japanese. So uh -huh. yeah, they yeah. I think it's yeah. the red. Yeah, the yeah, red yeah, and right, black. right, right, yeah. And so a lot of people are asking, hey, it's Japanese and. Um, do, do you serve sushi? Yeah. Do you serve Japanese food? Do you grill? Well, yeah, we grill, but we don't serve any Japanese food. Yeah. And then so I gave the customers what they wanted. So now Fridays we do sushi. Oh, wow. Yeah, because they're all asking. Everybody's yeah, yeah. asking, are you going to serve sushi? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, we're going to serve sushi. What time on Fridays do you serve it? Uh, from 2 to 7. 2 to 7. And do you make that yourself? Are you uh, doing no, it? we have, we kind of like partnered up with uh, Sushi Affair. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're yeah. a catering company uh -huh. that comes out here. Okay. And, um, they, yeah, they, they do set they, up shop. Do they make it? Oh, okay, okay, they do, okay. Yeah, they okay. do. Well, we make it live. Right. Uh, oh, okay. As you order. You, yeah. you do it. Where do they set up over here? Oh, uh, right here, right right behind. Oh, yeah. Well, very nice. Yeah. They just bring all their stuff, so yep. they're just here. Wow, yeah. that's cool, man. How did you get connected with them? That's, that's, uh, so I was in line at the Restaurant Depot, mm -hmm. and I was talking with another restaurant owner, and he, um, Kuya Vic, He's the, uh, and the sushi chefs are Filipino. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah they're Filipino. Very cool. Yeah, and yeah. they actually did go to Japan to get training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to make sushi. So that's sushi. when they learned how to do it. Okay, yes, very exactly. cool. Okay. But yeah, I met him at a restaurant depot. Yeah. Um, he was, I was having a conversation with another restaurant owner. Mm -hmm. uh, his name was Makai. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know Makai. Uh, he's another. No. He's in, uh, over in Hillcrest. Okay. Uh, Is that the sushi. name of the, yeah. the sushi restaurant, Makai? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I have yeah. to look that up. Yeah, no, yeah, I've so, heard of it before. Yeah, he, uh, we, were, we were talking and okay. Kuya Vic uh, overheard my conversation. Oh, you like sushi? Oh, yeah, I love sushi. And so that's when, that's when we got the conversation started. A month later, they started, started happening. shopping. We're, yeah. How does that work? Is the partnership, they're just selling this? They're just using your shop? Like, you don't get a cut from their stuff, their profits? No. Or is it just, literally, they're just coming I'm, in and serving? Right. Okay, I, cool. my, my whole thing is I'm trying to help other business owners, too. Right, right. So a lot of the stuff that's here, a lot of the uh, um, like chips and mm -hmm. you know snacks that we have, they're not Cheetos, they're not you know Doritos. They're they're actually small business owners. I don't, I really don't charge anything for them to set up over here or nothing yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, I just, we just try to help each other out, that's and that's awesome. that's that. Yeah, that's that's my whole thing. So that's why I love here because it's it's like we're all a community, right? We're right. all trying to grow our own businesses together. Right. And if there's a way we can all help each other out, it's just like why not try and do? Why not do it, right? Like yeah. we're all yeah. doing like for for me doing this video. Like for me, it's like oh cool, he knows Cujo, right? He knows he knows this place. And for you, it's like oh you know Vince, right? Like it's yeah. like we're helping each other out right. here. So it's just good to hear that the community, like you're trying to help out the community, local people who are really trying to get the brand out more, because right. otherwise people wouldn't find out about them, you know. So that's cool. Right. What are the uh, what are some of the snacks you sell? What was uh, it then? Tiny bites. Uh, we have a, the waffle mix okay. from uh, uh, Leaf It Be. Okay. Uh, Nico's um, chicharron. Oh okay. And Nico's Taro. Okay. I think that's all we have right now. Okay. Yeah, that's all. That's all. But I'm I'm very open. Yeah. I'm very open. So if other people want to bring their stuff here, Definitely. they can just come and meet you and see what you can do. No questions asked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. What are and um, so future plans for Cujo Eats? And you talked about a little bit going Ooh. over. Uh, well, let's talk about Aztec Food Hub first. Okay. Um, when did that start? So Aztec Food Hub, I opened that in January. Okay. And we're operating there from five to 12 right now. Every um, day? Yeah, every day. Okay. Um, except for a Sunday, Monday. Okay. Um, okay. And on Sunday. Friday, Saturdays, we're open to 2 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, we hit all the, you know, college life. Dude. On do you Friday, get a, Saturday. I mean, do people will, Oh, yeah. Oh, really? That at late? 2 o'clock? Like, when I'm about to close at yeah. 2 o'clock, I get plenty of orders. What in the like, world, Yeah, man? but, yeah, hey, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it works out for you guys. I yeah, mean, that, that's yeah. great. 
I'm yeah. just thinking in my head because, okay, uh, I went to LA um, a few weeks back and they do a seafood boil, mm -hmm. uh, same ghost kitchen, all the same concept. Okay. But he was the person that was telling me the same thing. People order it literally at 159. <laughs> yeah. You want to have yeah. a seafood boil at 2.30 in right. the morning? Like, it just it boggles my mind. I'm right. just like, wow. Because I would get heartburn, I feel like, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be able to sleep after that, but <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. And what, what kind of things are you selling over there? So over at the Food Hub, I do a lot of my specialty dishes, like okay. the, the barbecues, for one. Okay. Uh, the beef ribs. Short ribs is a hit over there right now. Ah. Um, short ribs, uh, barbecue chicken. A lot of those flavors too that I bring, well, here and there is, you know, the Hawaiian flavor. So when you asked me earlier about the traditional Filipino barbecue, I put a twist in mine and it's pretty much like huli huli style oh. and Filipino style combined. Together. Together. Yeah. Do you serve it with rice or, you know, mac salad and all that stuff? What do you serve with the meat? So I serve it with uh, steamed white rice okay. and then you have an option to have the garlic fried rice. So my garlic fried rice is a. Uh, has a twist to it. Oh. Um, and it's not the traditional where it's just garlic. Yeah. I put a lot more flavors to like like sauteed onions mm. and other things. So, yeah, and other things. <laughs> it's so secretive, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, um, right now I don't have, uh, you know, the mac salad mm. on the menu just yet. Okay. Um, so, but, is that coming? Yeah. You plan it? Okay. It's cool. coming. Okay. It's coming. Uh, I serve sp uh, spaghetti over there. So, I don't know if you ever had Zippies. Back in Hawaii? No, I haven't. So No, isn't that a coffee shop? Uh it's like a cafe. It's a it's a real well known um chain over there. I feel and like there was a Zippies here. No, they so the what, owner What am I thinking about? There's um, one off of um off of Highland or there used to be. It was a coffee shop. Oh maybe it's not Zippies. Uh, but anyways, continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the Zippies flavor. So my mom used to work at Zippies. Okay. Um back in, Hawaii. in Hawaii, yeah. Okay, okay. And my favorite thing over there was the, the fried chicken and spaghetti. Oh, it's like better than Jollibee fried chicken and spaghetti? Oh, yeah. Really? Honestly, honestly, okay. hands down, Zippy's has the best fried chicken and, okay. and spaghetti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of figured out what they, they know, did. What they did. Okay, the cool. The flavors, just by tasting it and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So what I did was I mixed the sweet Filipino spaghetti mm -hmm. with the Zippy's. Oh. It's more of an earthy. Ah, taste to okay, it. Okay. I combined it. Yeah. That's when I created the Cujo Eats. Wow. Sweet spaghetti. Sweet. Semi sweet. Semi sweet. Yeah, semi. Uh, half the sugar. Yeah, half the sugar. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, I serve that there. Um, I do serve the, the, the staples, the adobos, mm -hmm. um, the pancit mm -hmm. at the food hub. So, yeah. Oh, so you basically have. I was thinking you just had the the barbecue and just oh no no you serve a oh see see again lechon too is over, over there, there too. too yeah are you making that stuff every day over there then yeah like oh man yeah that's on a daily dude and you're the only one working it do you have somebody else I'm helps? the only one working there right now oh my goodness yeah I, I know oh my goodness yeah come yeah. in come into Kujo each national city and then yeah. jumping over there until until midnight it's it's tough but you know what. I'm, I, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I, I do start. I mean, I have four kids and I yeah. you know, still have, you know, a home life too. Right, um, right, right. My wife, the bi which is my biggest support is my wife. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I juggle the two and I'm, 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 I'm enjoying myself. That's good. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. Like, it's my, it's my passion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's good because like, I mean, bring it back to passion, man. When you're happy about what you're supposed to be doing. Right. And you feel like what this is what you're supposed to be doing? Like it just fits, right? Yeah. It's yeah. hard, but you make it work. Yeah. I mean, five to twelve every day after being here. So, like, what's your what time do you usually wake up in the morning then? Um. So I take my kids to school. Mm. Probably around like six. Okay. Okay. Six in the morning. Five. Sometimes I don't. Yeah. Five, six o'clock in the morning. Wow. And sometimes I don't get the home till about two. Dang. In dude. the morning. So you like, just take a quick nap and just. <laughs> It's that, like a power nap. I don't. I don't. I don't go to sleep. I take. I, I take. A, I take naps. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I take na naps throughout the day. Wow. Um, you take a nap like, after this? I mean, it's ten in the morning. Hold on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm done. Let me take it real quick. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny because uh, my fiance she can nap easily. Like she's yeah. like, oh, I'm tired. She'll just pass out. <laughs> I, I I'll nap for ten minutes at most, and my body. I don't know what it is. My body will just randomly shake, and I'll be awake, and I'll be like, oh, okay, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. It's weird. It's like 10, 15 minutes. Unless I'm really tired, then yeah. it'll be like 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, but that only happens if I'm like hungover from the night before yeah, or like yeah. something else. But um, yeah, I take power naps when I do take power naps. Otherwise, otherwise, I get about like six to seven hours of sleep a night, so I don't uh, really need a yeah. nap. But 
That's crazy, dude. Yeah, there was this there was this couple that came in the other day, a yeah. uh, 92 year old. Oh wow. Uh, 92. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I asked them, "What's your secret?" Naps. <laughs> Naps throughout the All day. The time. Uh, ever All since the... they were younger. Yeah. Naps. Naps throughout the day. Dang. I'm like, dude. wow, okay. Mm -hmm. How yeah. long are your naps then? Uh, that 10, 15 minutes. Really, yeah. really. When, yeah. when do you nap when you're here? Do you nap in your car? Do you? Yeah, in the car, the office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, when I can. <laughs> when I can. Yeah. You don't have like a cot in the back or something like nah. that. You just go lay down. <laughs> so nah. bloody, dude. That's awesome, though. Um, so like, okay, so getting into future plans for Cujo Eats, um, Aztec Food Hub, you know, all of that stuff. What What do you plan on doing with it exactly? Um, I wanted to. I, I was asked to do, to, to franchise. Mm. And so that's why I'm getting all the recipes and stuff dialed in okay. so that we can do that. Okay. Um, to grow over here, I mean, a lot of customers asking me to open up in Temecula, open right. up in Seattle, wow. open in Florida. So there's there's a bunch of places that I'm looking at and yeah. stuff like that, but I don't want to spread myself too thin, but right. um, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. Future plans for this place, just just growth, uh, maybe move to another or open up a bigger place where Location. I can have like banquets or wow, yeah, dude, stuff that would like be that. cool. There's, I have a lot of I have a lot of plans. Yeah, I have a lot yeah, of yeah. plans, and I'm trying to hit all of it. So and you're the only owner, right? Like yeah. you don't have um, an no investor partners. or anything like that. Okay, no. okay, that's that's great to hear, man. Like in National City has a bunch of good Filipino food, but I love that you're doing something different. Oh, and Kamayan too, right? You oh, Kamayan, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so the Kamayan now, um, our, our Kamayan that differentiates ourselves from other people, other okay. companies is you get to pick your items. Oh. You get five items you can pick from. Yeah. Um, or you, you pick five out of a whole list of items, actually, yeah. sorry. And um, you can schedule it any time. Um, it's from nine to like five. Okay. Nine to five, two hour seating yeah. limit. Um, like every day, if you want, yeah, like any every day. day. Any day, every day. Nine to five, okay, okay. Yeah. And you just five. set up, does it matter amount of people? Like what is the max? No. The max amount of people is 65. The Dang. minimum is four, but In 65. Here? And we've done it already. Oh my gosh, I guess, yeah, I can guess that would make sense. Yeah, well, after we took this wall down. Yeah, you know, we now can, you have more space to yeah, do it. Yeah. Dang, But dude. 65 people. How much would it be per person if that's the case? Uh, thirty nine ninety five per person. Okay. Uh, for children between six and 12 okay. are nineteen ninety five. Yeah. And then five and below is free. Wow. Yeah. Okay, does that include Holo Holo at the end? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> see, that's part of the menu too. So oh, okay, it's like okay. a, we, we serve the, fa the, 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 the mini Holo Holo. Okay. Um, but afterwards yeah, afterwards wow dude. Um, but yeah the the whole experience is, is the experience of the kamayan mm -hmm. that people actually you know come pay for is yeah. the experience and well the food too yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, food yeah. is great you know yeah. i've got a lot of great reviews yeah go ahead yeah a lot yeah. of great reviews uh-huh um regarding the food right 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 and just just the fact that people can pick is it's really cool yeah because usually it's just classic right that's just what it, what it usually is What's that? It's usually just like uh, classic dishes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. So the traditional um, kamayan usually has like the pusit, the squid, right. um, the barbecue, pork and chicken, and then just vegetables, rice, pancit. Yeah. 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 That's it. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But ours, it, it just we just opened up a whole new. Yeah. Can ball you get your beef ribs for it too? Yes. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Beef Very ribs, cool, short ribs, yeah. lechon, anything, anything, dude, anything on our menu, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah? Cool. Cool. So franchising in the future, Kamayan, like that's, you're doing a lot of things here, man. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's good to hear. What is, um, so if people want to find you, um, what's the best way they can connect uh, and all of this stuff? Um, Kujoeats.com, uh, Instagram. Okay. Um, they can DM you on Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Any, cool. I, I get like a, at least 10 a day. Oh, wow. Yeah, or more or yeah. whatever. But yeah, uh, my, my, you can hit me up on the phone, okay. text me anytime. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. just all of that, all of that stuff. So uh, before we end today's podcast, Joel, is there anything else you want our audience to know about your restaurant, about you, anything like that? When my wife and I started this business venture, mm -hmm. we just did it. Yeah. We just were, we were, we were done with corporate life, and we we're just like, you know what? Let's just, let's just do it. I've been talking about Cujo Wheats since 2015. Wow. I had a sticker on the back of my truck since 2015. That's awesome, man. And um, 
this, this, the restaurant fell in my, in my lap. Yeah. And I just went for it. Wow. I just went for it. Uh huh. Um, I lost my parents, both my parents last year. Oh man, I'm sorry. And uh, they got to see this. Yeah. And everything. And that's what, that, they, keep, they keep my passion alive. What my dad taught me indirectly, mm -hmm. <laughs> and my mom, her kind heart, um, always wanting to lend a helping hand. That's what kind of, you know, is keeping up my game here. It's a lot of people love that. Mm -hmm. Love that the fact that I'm actually here. Yeah. I'm thanking everybody. I'm 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 thinking about everybody. And yeah, just just if you're passionate about something, just go for it. Yeah. Just go for it. There's that saying, um, aim for the moon. Even if you miss you land, land in the stars. stars. Yeah. 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 Um I I tell my kids that all the time. You know, just keep them motivated, keep me motivated. Right. They're the ones that keep me motivated. Yeah. My, my family, my wife. So, and, um, yeah. Dude, that's awesome. I think that's a great way to end it. Like, that was that was so motivational. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are doing well, you Thank know. You. Um, we'll definitely have to be back to revisit this topic again in a year or two and yeah. see where you're at then because I love to see the progress. I love that you guys are doing different things with Filipino food, you know, adding in your own twists because I think that's, stay with the classics you know do like keep what's working but then add on to it because you don't know what else is going to work too right? right like the fact that you're grilling in the front is awesome the fact that you're at aztec food hub open till two in the morning is yeah. insane but i'm like dude that's that's how growth is you yeah. know i talked to a lot of restaurant owners and a lot of them are struggling like everyone's struggling with business in some way or form right if you look at all your problems the problems are going to be there but the fact that you're focused on motivating um, on your family, right? On the fact that you're, you're, they're your motivation to do better and right. you are doing things to do better. Like, dude, it's only, like you said, you're gonna shoot for the moon, you're landing amongst the stars for sure. You know, regardless of what happens, you'll be successful in your own way. So that's like awesome to hear, dude. Thank you. Cool. Well, thanks, Joel. Appreciate it, man. Oh, thanks for thank hopping you. on today. Thank you. Uh, yep. And you guys, uh, make sure you follow Kujo Eats, Joel over here, and um, check out this place in National City. You'll love it. And most of all, don't forget, be marvelous. <laughs>